Hi guys, what's going on? Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. I uh, thought I'd show you a quick little tutorial about how to double your engraving speed in Crayford Whisperer. That's the raster engraving speed. Um, I've done a few bits of testing and it turns out that 500mm a second is probably the top end uh, that I'm happy with with my machine. You might want to do some testing just on how fast you want yours to go. Uh, I could go up to 600 but it starts to get a little bit wobbly anything over that the machine just it cannot handle it it's just all over the place you cannot it's, it's completely random where it goes it starts making loads of clanging it's no good for me so I stick to 500 millimeters second and it's a good speed for me on my machine but you can go even quicker um, with K40 Whisperer uh, the default setting for the raster engraving is 0 0.002 inches. Uh, I've not equated that to what it's like in millimeters. Um, I think it is 0 0.05 millimeters, uh, roughly. So it's, it's very fine, um, pretty good for detail work. But I don't even think your laser dot on the K40 goes that small anyway. So, I've got my logo here, um, I'll set up on the laser machine, I'll do a raster engrave at 500mm a second uh, with the default setting. Uh, I will then do another one, um, changing that setting to 0 0.04, we'll do a comparison, uh, I'm quite happy with the results, uh, you virtually can't tell the difference, so we'll get started with that. Okay hey guys, so we're over at the laser, we've got everything set up ready to go. Um, I'll get the engraving done on the 0 0.002 inch lines. 500mm a second, let's go. There we go. So that took roughly two and a half minutes to do. That's uh, 45mm by 45mm. Uh, I'm going to double the speed on there now. One sec. So I've now got that set to 0 0.04. We'll drop it down 47mm just to drop below. The other one, uh, keep the raster engraved at 500 and we'll get started on that one.
There we go. On the machine. So I'll get a really good picture of these two. Uh, noticeably, you'll see that the the slower one at the top. It's hard to show you where I'm pointing on here. Uh, the slower one at the top is actually darker than the lighter one at the bottom. The uh, the faster one at the bottom. You can increase your power to account for this, but I think the the second one looks just as good, really. So I'm going to get a high quality picture and show you the difference. Alright guys, so we're back at the computer, I've taken a picture and I've got them both zoomed in to 10 times. Um, like I say, these are 45mm each one, so this is zoomed in fairly far. The only difference between them is this one's a fair bit deeper, which like I say you can change that by upping the power on the faster one. Uh, and you'll get the deeper darker engraving. I've got quite a few scorch marks around this one. I've not used air assist um, because I find air assist just blows the smoke back down onto the surface and leaves more scorch marks, uh, or sap marks really, uh, sticky residue to clean up. And I think that's what this is. I don't think it's actually scorch marks. I think it's just um, the uh, the smoke burning from the laser. Uh, you can see very faintly some lines here which aren't really visible without zooming in uh, and there's no scorch marks or anything on this one. Uh, I really like how this turns out especially being able to go twice as fast. Uh, so do some experimenting. Try and change the line interval uh, the speed of this one was around two and a half minutes. The speed of this one was uh, just over a minute, really. So it was it was a bit more than twice as fast. So it's up to you. Let's zoom back out to original size of both of them. And as you can see from there, there's, there's hardly any difference. But just just looking at it without zooming in. So. Have fun, experiment, and let's see what you think from there.